Hello, hello again. Well, I was just having a look at the presentation we're going to see uh, during the next minutes, and so I was looking for the reasons for the voltage to decrease in fuel cells for the, this loss of efficiency, and I found out very interesting things about about over potentials. Do you want to come with me and have a look? Of course. Well, the first cause for over potential is the so-called activation polarization. There are three. The first one, activation polarization. Mm -hmm. So activation polarization occurs especially when the current density is very low. I mean, when we don't have a very high elect electrical uh, electricity con um, electricity flow, and then uh, in this case, what happens is that for the electrochemical reactions to start, uh, we require some extra energy, which is called the activation energy, and then these electrochemical reactions, it's like they have problems for starting and they take some extra energy from the voltage which is available and then we see this drop of voltage in the cell. Mm -hmm. Again, this all happens especially when the current intensity is very low. The second one is the omnic polarization or overpotential, they are synonyms. And it happens in this region of the polarization curve uh, probably an intermediate current density. So in this case, this linear um, slope, well, this linear curve uh, is controlled by the Ohm's law. And well, omnic polarization is mainly due uh, to or because of the different resistances, uh, physical resistances of the components of the cell, mm? mainly the charge and electronic resistances, as it happens in a resistor. Finally, the last one is concentration polarization, which occurs at current densities which are very high. I mean, when the reaction is really, really, really quick. And it happens because at some point it's very complicated uh, for the hydrogen molecules or the fuel molecules to get in contact with the surface when the reactions take place. So, the constant, there's a concentration gradient in some layer and then uh, the reaction somehow slows down because uh, it requires more energy to carry out uh, these electrochemical reactions. So this is called concentration polarization. In the end of the day, the polarization curve that we see here is the sum of the three contribution of the three terms activation, omnic and concentration polarization. Uh, and then uh, again the overall over potential is the difference between the point in the curve and the reversible potential. You can see this also from a mathematic point of view here. As you see at the end of the day what I have is that the voltage which is available for you in the cell is um, considering the uh, reversible uh, voltage which is a thermodynamic variable and then subtracting the terms of the overpotentials in the cathode, in the anode, and well, this which would be the opnic, which is more general. Uh, you can see here how we can obtain the different terms. Yeah. So, in more detail, activation polarization is characterized by the Schaeffel equation, which is this one. It's a logarithmic expression which relates the intensity with the overpotential. Uh, we can see here some curves. And it is important, well, to some extent, to uh, obtain, we can obtain the different parameters of this equation, which is defining us how this system is going to behave from the point of view of the activation polarization. It's important to obtain these parameters if we want to predict uh, its behavior. So it's very common to do uh, linear regressions and to obtain the slope and the ordinate in origin and obtain these parameters which are basically the electron transferring coefficient and the exchange current density which will help us understand how this system behaves. Here you can see some of the curves of the related to the first stages of the reactions a very low density currents in which you can see these profiles which are typical for activation polarization we're not going to get into much detail here but see that you can basically fit the results to these equations and these are real plots of real systems. In, and you, can, you can see here how the shape of the curve here with a very uh, drastic decrease 
yeah? the very first starting moment when the current density is very low, which is uh, very typical for an activation polarization. And here the logarithmic plot, which obviously gives you a straight line, because this is logarithmic expression. So the concentration polarization can be also uh, be represented by an equation, and then we need to take into account the fixed equation, and we see how there is a difference between the concentration of the bulk solution, which would be this one, which would be mainly the concentration of the stream you are supplying to your system, and then the concentration at the surface. And don't forget that this concentration at the surface is the good one, because the reaction will take place on the electrode surface, eh? not on the bulk phase. We can also calculate this, uh, this parameter, which is the limiting intensity, which is, gives you an idea of how good is your system in terms of mass transfer. Again, we can do a mathematical approach uh, considering these relations and considering the fixed law, and that will lead us to this final expression in which we can relate the overpotential, which is the loss of potential due to concentration polarization, with the intensity of the fuel cell. You see the parameters are again appearing here. It's very easy to plot uh, overpotential versus uh, a logarithmic expression of the intensity, and then obtaining this parameter. Once again, Finally, what we have is that the real voltage of the fuel cell will be the reversible cell voltage, which is the one that you can read in tables, the one that you're never going to have, unfortunately, minus a series of terms related to the activation polarization, the concentration polarization, and also omnic polarization, which is quite simple. Well, look, this is a positive sign because this um, term will be always negative and it should be a logarithm uh, less than 1. And so we will have this value reduced to some extent depending on these parameters. Um, a good practice is to have a real polarization curve and try to fit this equation um, by obtaining the different parameters here, which will be semi-empirical. That's all I want to say. Um, Thank you very much. I think um, I'm going to have a, again a, another look. Um, thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye.